coders, Saz here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a functional pricing page in Webflow within minutes using Service Spot and Stripe. So let's get started. Oh, and before we start, I just want to mention a few things. I will provide a link to all of the resources that I've used in this video in the description below, as well as the link to the clonable site that I will be showing you today. So now let's get started. We want to go into Stripe and create our product. Just so that I can show you guys how to do this, I'm going to create a product, call it basic, go to additional options, add a metadata. We want the service tag. The value is going to be, I'm going to call this demo three. We want to name the tier. Um, we call this basic, so we're going to keep up with that. The price is going to be $10 a month recurring. Save that product. Go back, add another one, call it premium. Advanced options, add metadata, add the service tag, keep it consistent, demo three. The tier, we're going to call this premium, and we're going to price this at $20 a month. Save that and go back, add our final tier. I'm going to call this, um, add our final set of metadata. So the service, demo three, tier. Um, and this will be at $50 a month. Save product. Go back. Awesome. Now we have three products. We're going to go to our service bot dashboard. From here, add a pricing page. Name it. I'm going to call this flow base example pricing. And I'm going to select demo three, which is the one that we just created. Go to pricing settings. Now, here we're going to get to configure our pricing page and checkout form. So I don't want to hide any tiers. I don't want to disable anything. Uh, we only have monthly plans, so these won't really apply to us. OK, looks good. Let's move on to our checkout settings. Everything is looking great here. Actually, let me use Stripe styling for the card information. And let me also allow for the street address and the postal code of the billing address fields. From there, everything else looks good to me. I'm going to save this. And I'm going to go to the embed section, go to this HTML tab, copy my code, and bring it over. Now, a few things to note. Let me actually go back. A few things to note. If you are using Bubble, WordPress, or Drupal, you're going to copy the respective code for those platforms. And with the custom HTML code, we are compatible with any and all um, web development tools. So that's including Wix, Squarespace, Card, etc. I have just chosen to use Webflow. I'm going to come over here into our cloned project. And here I've actually created a new section. I threw in a div, gave it the selector name, uh, selection content plane to match the rest of the page, added a title, and I also threw in an HTML embed code box. So I'm going to go to that and paste the code that I just copied in here. Save and close. Now, you won't be able to see a preview of the pricing page at this point, and that's okay because all we have to do is publish. I'm just going to close that. 
Let's preview it to see if that worked. Awesome. Okay, our functional pricing page is up and running. But there's one piece missing here, right? We want to ha have this look and feel the same as the rest of our website. So for that, we're going to go to CodePen, paste my HTML right there, and I actually already styled this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the CSS, copy it, go back to Webflow, go to my page settings right here, and scroll all the way down. Now, we want to scroll to the second box where it says before and body tag. And in that box, we're just going to paste the CSS code that we are dragging over. Don't forget the style tags or else the styling will not be applied to, our, to your pricing page. Save that. Publish your page. Okay, let's refresh this. Voila, it works. We have our functional pricing page. Look at that. Beautiful. And the beauty of this is that the designer no longer needs to go into Webflow and change the pricing of, um, of the product. Whoever is in charge of managing the pricing models can just go into the Stripe account, the company's Stripe account, update the pricing, and it will automatically be applied to the website. It's that easy, seriously. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you'd like to see next. Until next time, everyone. Happy no coding.